And joining me now is Lejeune Montgomery Tabron. She's the CEO of the Kellogg Foundation. It's so good to see you back up here Thank at Mackinac. You. Wonderful. You know, we have a lot of things to talk about, a lot of investment that Kellogg has done in the city of Detroit. I mean, ranging from early childhood education to the Motown Museum to, I mean, so many specific projects. Yeah. Um, talk to me a little bit about how foundations you think are making the difference in a lot of different places in the city of Detroit. Well, first of all, what I will say is I think at the Kellogg Foundation, uh, as we have narrowed into priority places, it's given us a way to do comprehensive programmatic work. And Detroit is one of our priority places. And when we say that, what we mean is, first of all, we commit ourselves to that place for at least a generation. Uh, and that's to build trust so that people in the community know we're not going anywhere. We care about children and families, and we want to see them thrive through a generation. So once we've made that commitment, our work looks very comprehensive. We look at workforce. We look at early childhood education. We look at things like the museum as anchors in communities to build community development. We don't do that everywhere, but in our priority places, we have a broad spectrum of work all focused on children, knowing that children are at the center of everything we do. Uh, but we know that children thrive when families thrive and when communities are thriving. Yeah, when families feel stable. You know, you said something very interesting that I feel like I've been hearing a lot up here is getting the trust of the community and saying it's not like we're here for five years, we're in and we're out, and we're choosing projects that works for you, but it's finding a community, investing in them, telling them that you are going to be there for the long haul. That's the difference that I feel that I've started to, to hear in a lot of the work that's being done in the city of Detroit. It's absolutely the core. And our founder uh, challenged us with that proposition. Uh, we'll be 90 years old as a foundation next year. And what we know is community change happens when you work with community, when you partner with them, when you're not prescribing what they do, but you're actually allowing them to aspire for what they want the change to look like. And then we support that. And it is our community works look, looks very different uh, because we put children and people at the center of our work. So we can say we have priorities, uh, but if we go into Detroit and we talk about our priorities and we hear from families, uh, no, these are our priorities, we are agile enough to adapt. Talk to me a little bit about um, early childhood education, and that is something that has been a, a focus of the Kellogg Foundation for quite a while here in the state of Michigan. And when we talk about K-12 education and, and getting kids ready to even get into school and then set them up for success later on in life, what have you seen, what kind of changes and impacts has a lot of the work that you've been able to do made in the state? Uh, it's been tremendous. Uh, we've been in this space for decades, mm -hmm. uh, and it was grounded in some work that we did around systems and looking at how systems connect. And what we learned is that the early childhood and development space was not connected at all to the K-12 space. And our work has been about creating smooth transitions for children mm -hmm. because the children don't care about whether these systems connect. They need smooth transitions. They need continuity. And we know that when we have the structures that work for them, they do thrive. Right. And so our work was about building a system for early childhood development, zero to third grade. And those systems really were non-existent. Uh, but then once we're building that system, then connecting it to K through 12 and building, helping to support the pathways between those two structures. Mm -hmm. That's what our Hope Stars Here work is all about in the city of Detroit. Taking all of our learnings from the past, partnering with Kresge and uh, PNC and the Fisher Foundation, Balmer, all of, uh, all of these foundations also care about early childhood and a comprehensive approach to early childhood. So we're working together to build a system with a clear, defined pathway for children that leads right into K through 12. Yeah, the, the supports are there. But you also said in, something interesting about being able to partner up and saying, all right, if we all have this certain focus, 
there's no sense in trying to do this work alone, Absolutely. but now saying, Let, let's kind of try to merge some of our mission here. And I think one of the things that we're seeing this happen most of all um, is the census and yes. people that we're talking to up here on Mackinac, mm -hmm. um, looking at 2020, I guess, give us a sense of why this is so important right now that we are counted in Michigan. It is, first of all, we know this is a once in every 10 year uh, effort. Uh, and what we do in 2020 will impact us for the next decade. Uh, and what we also know is no matter what we serve as individual foundations or companies or nonprofits, we all care. Uh, that we have a community where everyone is counted, uh, resources then flow based on that uh, proposition. And we all know that the children and families in, in Michigan need the best support, the best resources for wraparound support, uh, as well as education and infrastructure. So this is one place where it's just been a pleasure that everyone understands uh, why they need to be a part of it. So the collaborative is strong, it's growing, mm -hmm. and uh, there's a role for everyone to play. What are some of the challenges though, in terms, and it gets back to this trust conversation, of letting communities know that it's okay to be counted. It's okay to give their information out. It's it, that they are going to be protected in some way because there are real concerns among um, immigrant populations and in different places in our area where they're not so sure of what the ramifications might be of being counted. And, and you know, that's warranted in some regards. Unfortunately, you know, I think um, the discourse in our nation isn't serving the census process right now. There has been this divisive discourse and uh, fear tactics. So you can't, you know, you can't blame someone uh, that doesn't have trust right. mm -hmm. in this process. What we're doing and what we're supporting is the communications effort, uh, and we're putting people from communities into roles of navigators so that the relationship that is the trusting relationship will be one of community member to community people member. feel safe, that they have and a place to go to safe. and ask their questions. And then they'll be able to get those questions answered, and then we hope, understand why it is important for them to participate in the census. Uh, but you can't do that from afar. That's a ground game. Yeah. That's very much people in communities. And from a philanthropic standpoint, that those resources were not provided from the national level. So as a foundation, we are putting resources mm -hmm. into putting those individuals back on the streets as part of this process so that the door-to-door -door activity is someone when you open your door, you're very familiar yeah, with. You know, you know them and exactly. you feel comfortable and there is real value in that. Um, as we have this last minute here, um, what can we expect to see now in the next six to eight months in terms of how things roll out? I think it's going to be a very, uh, the, it's going to ramp up very mm -hmm. quickly. We have a short time frame as it relates to the census. MNA uh, is a, a, a nonprofit partner that we funded. Mm -hmm. They have uh, 13 hubs across the state. Uh, okay. There's very much collaboration with the business community. Ready Nation uh, will be accepting all offers for participation and we're putting people to work all across the state of Michigan. All right, it's going to be very exciting to yes. see. Thanks for um, stopping by and sharing a lot of the work Thank that you're doing you. with June. It's, it's been good a to pleasure. see you. Thank you.